those things happen. Hello, everyone. Here we are live, and today is Thursday, February 2nd. As you know, it's interview day. Interview day with Lucy and always an awesome guest. So I'd like to take care of a few housekeeping um, items. If you are joining us live today, down below in the comments, hashtag live, or if it's the replay, just type in hashtag replay. And do tell us where you're coming from. You know, I always love to know where the people who join us live are coming from. And if you're not coming, if, if, if you're doing the replay, also tell us where you're coming from. As you know, I'm in Mexico in a small village in the mountains outside of Guadalajara. And my guest today is from the Grand Island Bahama. And so um, one other thing I want to mention, there is a strip above that says um, StreamYard. Would you click on that and give StreamYard the permission to use your name? Because if you don't, then you will come across as Facebook user and we won't be able to really, well, we will, but we like to um, use your name. I see Barbara's joining us and she's live. Hi, Barbara. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, rather. Okay, so a little bit about my guests. We're both expats, and we both live in our own individual paradise. We'll talk about that. We met online, and then we met in person. We, uh, my guests came to Mexico, to my little village. I couldn't believe it. So we met, um, Angelica and myself, we met um, here in Mexico. And then, of course, then we met in our launch uh, lab program, which, uh, you know, we have been working closely and joyfully working together. We both have um, Tony Robbins as a mutual mentor. Anyway, enough about that. Meet, please, my humble, beautiful, charismatic guest today. And it's Dr. Angelica Christie. How are you, Angelica? <laughs> I am very, very well. And thank you so much for having me, um, Lucy. It's so great to be here and have that opportunity to chat. Oh, to wonderful, awesome. wonderful. Thank you. I just want to let you know that Barb is here with us, and you know Barb, so uh, we're going to have this discussion together. So, um, you know, Dr. Angelica, I just want to say, you know, I know that you're an award-winning international speaker. You're a best-selling uh, award author. You're a mother of five children. That's really important. You're a grandmother of 10 children. That's really important. You're also a naturopath. You're a coach and not just a coach, but a trendsetter in personal development. You're a heart-mind relationship coach. You're a Reiki master teacher for over uh, 30 years. I mean, I could go on and on. The other two, I have to mention this. You have ran, you ran two New York marathons under yes. four hours at the age of 40 and 42. I can't believe that. Now, you know, I ran for 17 years but I only did 10 Ks. And I know for a runner, the ultimate su success for a runner is a marathon. You did two. I can't well, believe this. <laughs> well, I did, I did two because the first one, I just wanted to see how it is. So that was not under four um, hours. But it was like, a, I just wanted it, that experience and right. it was amazing. And the second time I thought, okay, so now I know I can do it. So now I go for time. And, um, and I did. So. And, you know, it's really amazing because women in their 40s have a lot of energy. I remember having a lot of energy. I ran for 17 years, three miles a day. It was So, yes. you know, I can believe that I never ran under four hours. And Yeah, under four. Yeah, four hours in the marathon. I mean, really. Yeah. I mean. No, but, you know, not every woman uh, in, in, uh, around 40 or over has a lot of energy. There are mm -hmm. women in their 30s who have no energy. Yeah, true, <laughs> so, true. It's really something, your body is so amazing and your body is yeah. that ego and you have to take care of it. And you know, your mind, your set and, and um, uh, how you, not only how you think, but also um, what you challenge yourself to do. Absolutely. And, and as, you, as we know, um, Tony Robbins says, physicality is, you know, uh, where, where everything really starts. And it's Absolutely. true. The body is, is number one. 
And um, you have to have a healthy body to have a healthy mind. I mean, not healthy. Healthy, I mean, you, you can have a, um, a disability or so. I'm not talking about that. No. But, but, the, but the energy, the life force energy, you know, and that really comes from from all around us, you know? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And Barb says, I was in my best shape in my 40s too. So, <laughs> so and I was too, but I'm still in good shape. So, yeah. you know, you're really considered a woman's health advocate. Yeah. And, and not only that, but you've been honored with awards of excellence in leadership and life transformation. I mean, you to me, you're an unstoppable human being like I am, but you know, you come with all the accolades. <laughs> it's hard to know where to begin. So I so let's you know, let's go back to your background a little bit, okay? And I when we go back to your background, I don't want you to omit the fact that you are Baroness Angelica von Canal Christi, and that you come from an, an almost one thousand year old German aristocratic family. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? That's so exciting to me. <laughs> I, I guess my my soul decided that I didn't have anything to do with it. I mean, I was <laughs> born into that family, mm -hmm. and, and I'm very proud because my family has such an incredible history of of um, of just not making huge amounts of money, but being being very um, uh, doing amazing things for for communities and for people. For example, you know, I mean, my. Uh, grandfather from my father's side, great grandfather was um, um, a justice. And, um, but anyway, uh, and, and the women in my family, for example, my great grandmother um, brought a chocolate factory into um, our family. Mm -hmm. And um, another one brought um, a, a vineyard, which is from 1474 or so wow. vineyard into the family. So the women, I found always did something very specific, purpose driven, mm -hmm. and maybe maybe that's a little bit in me as well because Thank I was you. born after the after the Second World War, and I mean I almost died of hunger. My my mother thought I would she wouldn't be able to feed me because um, everybody was hungry in Germany after the Second World War, and so I am the shortest in the family. I'm not really that. While well, I'm five, six. <laughs> That's about well, we're the same. Yes, <laughs> the same height. My sister and and my brothers, everybody is taller. Even my my parents were taller. So I mm -hmm. believe I didn't get enough to eat, <laughs> and and that's why today I love food so much. One of my um, high highest um, uh, serotonin or dopamine <laughs> experiences is to have my refrigerator full of good food. Oh wow. And because I had a, a big family, I, there was a lot of, you know, it, it was going um, fast all the time, like with five children and no grandchildren back then. But um, I still buy a little bit too much food. Mm -hmm. But but then I always find a way to, I mean, I hardly ever throw anything away. And that's probably because that's how I was brought up. You know, mm -hmm. you don't throw food away because food was precious back then. But I mean, if you ask me about my characteristic is um, I am in, was the one in my family who broke rules and I still break rules and I break them for love, mm -hmm. for freedom, for justice and to be true to myself. Right. So I am I'm different um, from, uh, you know, most most women, how I grew up. Mm -hmm. I, um, and this is maybe why I always had the feeling I had to prove something. Yeah, I don't need all of these um, accolades or whatever, um, or certificates on the wall, but I needed to go through that to prove to myself, I can do it. I can do it. Yes, I can do it. And, and I love to study and I love to research. And I believe that my clients really profit from that because you know, when you go to to a medical doctor, so often they are stuck in right. what they used to, or what they learned. But they are not. Some are, but most are not researchers and and constantly uh, improve themselves and constantly um, um, pivot and and um, and adjust to the new 
science, you know. Right. You know, I want to go back uh, when you're talking about food. I know that you're a naturopath. Yeah. So when you're talking about food, you are talking about food coming right out of the garden. I remember a story that I read about you that when you were younger in Germany, <laughs> you used to go. They didn't feed you at the table. You used to go to the garden and eat raw food. That's right. Especially everything that I loved sour things. So, of course, um, fruits. Uh, we had many, many, many fruit trees. And mm -hmm. before the fruit is really, really ripe, it's more on the sour side. So mm -hmm. I loved our, our rhubarb, for example, is a very similar thing, you know. So I loved I loved all of that. And when I, when I was kind of forced to eat at the table, I sometimes um, uh, collected <laughs> the food in my sheets <laughs> and found a way to get to the bathroom. And to <laughs> that is too funny. Uh, but, you know, those are the stories that are that, that make us who we are today. It's um, unbelievable. So, um, you know, I know that. Um, so you married in Germany, right? Be yes. Uh, and so at what age did you mar did you first marry? Because I know you've been married a few times. Yes. So, talk about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so actually, um, I, I fell in love with a man when I was, was my first love, when I was 15 years old and 16, wow. 17, 18. But he was in a um, part of a family that was in very hard competition with the business that my parents were in. Okay. And uh, so we were something like Romeo and Juliet. Mm -hmm. uh, we were not allowed to be together. So uh, making a long story short, I left home because um, I could not be with this man. And, um, and I left um, just before I graduated from mm -hmm. high school. So I, I went to, to Munich and um, did everything to be able to go to university there. But I also was, I mean, this man that I was not uh, um, allowed to be with, he visited me and I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And my father um, and my, was horrified and he did everything to make me um, abort the baby. And when I didn't do that, then he offered me everything um, the world uh, if I would give it up for adoption. And I didn't. So I was 20 years old then and I had my first son, Mark. And he still is amazing. And he has four children on his own. He is the best father Anyway, so that was my out of marriage child. But when Mark was four years old, I married in Germany and I had two additional children. Um, so I had three children then. And oh, when, wow. when I left Germany, I was 25 years old because I fell in love. My, my husband in Germany uh, was very, very difficult. He just did not care. He only lived for the day. So when you have <laughs> children and you have somebody who only lives for the day, doesn't care about paying bills, doesn't care about any of this, kind of, kind of a sunny boy. Yeah, happy-go-lucky. <laughs> happy that almost killed me, and mm -hmm. I just couldn't take it anymore. And But anyway, we had an apartment um, in, in, um, in the Bahamas, so we would come to the Bahamas um, about twice a year, and that's when it happened. Um, I met... The man and lightning struck. I fell in love with the Bohemian man. And um, yeah, that's so I divorced my my first husband. I thought I could take my uh, two children who were three and five at the time with me. Um, but I was only allowed to take my oldest son, who was, of course, not his child. Anyway, Mark was um, my my son. Mm -hmm. And um and so that, that was a tough time to have to leave my, um, I hoped that they would come, but they, they came later, but you know, it was a tough time. Um, yeah, and so I married in the Bahamas, um, my beautiful soulmate, not knowing what a soulmate is. <laughs> Angelica, you know, you, you strike me as a woman who has followed her heart and her passion you fell passionately in love both times and and you just, you know, you followed your heart. You know, it wasn't your brain that said no, you or your parents that said, no, you can't do it. I mean, here's a woman, folks, who followed her heart was speaking to her and, you know, and, and she followed her heart and her passion. And I mean, something passion. Yes. But the heart did not even speak in a soft way. My heart said 
that's it. You must. <laughs> you must. Right. Right. Oh, my God. So so it's it's amazing. So the, the year was what year was that when you decide you fell in love with the Bahamian person? If I'm saying um, it right, Bahamian person. That was 77 or 78. 1977 yeah. and 90, so, so this was your second husband, right? Well, well, I've, I, we got married in 1980. Okay. I fell in love with him before, but then I needed to get my divorce and, you know, go through all Yes, of, of course. Yeah. Right, right. So, um, so at what point did you be, uh, become a, a coach and the mentor that you are today? Because you have been working with women over 50 for, for about 30 years. Yes. So, um, of course, when I came to the Bahamas, I, I found, I mean, when I was still back in Germany, my desire to understand life, and of course, I loved food already then, mm -hmm. uh, what was healthy. My, my parents told me that very often um, when they asked me, you know, to eat something or to buy it, I said, is this healthy? <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> come with us already in my you always had it in your mind yeah. yes and so when i came to bahamas the incredible beauty of um the pristine mm -hmm. nature uh just uh, triggered my um my spirituality because from my teenagehood i studied metaphysics um the ancient masters of tibet mm -hmm. i am present i mean the um, white brotherhood, all of that was fascinating to me. And I studied it, I devoured it. And um, so before, before I became a, a naturopathic doctor, I became a Reiki master teacher yeah. because um, somebody uh, came, uh, visited me uh, in the Bahamas and she spoke so highly of it that I say, okay, I never heard of it. Let me get, let me try to uh, find out more. And I studied it and I found it so incredible because uh, you don't do anything it is you're getting out of the way and allowing this incredible energy to to be um you're just the conduit so to speak yes. mm -hmm. for the person um who actually draws whatever energy with the wisdom of of the universe and her own wisdom of her soul into what needs healing and i really loved it and i made um i not only had a practice because I had Radiant Health uh, Center was a brick and mortar center that I um, established in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And um, I, but I, I, even after I closed it in 2009, I still would go and, and, do, and um, teach Reiki. And I made, I don't know, hundreds of Reiki um, students, Reiki one, two and advanced and I think I made five or six Reiki masters. Wow. I, I made, I mean, they, they just. They, they did the course. They went through yeah, the motion. Yes. <clears throat> I don't practice Reiki as a, um, I mean, I still use it on myself. And when somebody needs healing and so immediately, you know, I use it uh, because you can send it. There is no um, yeah. barrier. Yeah. Um, so send. it's just an, a modality for you yes. to have and that you use in your coaching yes. uh, programs. Yes. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, I'd like to know, because you are very well known, um, you know, in the um, realm of, of <laughs> speaking. I mean, you you did a, te a TEDx in the Grand Bahama Island, yes. and yes. Uh, the key was for mature women. Um, also, you have spoken at the Harvard uh, Boston. Harvard Club of Boston, yes. And, and so many others. Can you talk a little bit about that to us, please? Well, that was in, um, uh, I think it was in 2018, 2019. I just felt that I wanted to um, step beyond the Bahamas, too. I just wanted the experience of speaking um in places where there was a lot of um, uh, a lot of history, a lot of energy, mm -hmm. and meet amazing people, and some celebrities, and all of this, and I got this um, opportunity, and I took it. You know, so I, I spoke. Um, I was even in uh, Carnegie Hall on the stage and spoke wow. there, and um, Rockefeller Center all the way on top. <laughs> 
Um, That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and West Point. I mean, really. Well, how did that happen? I mean, I mean, you know, that, that was a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't yeah. think they allowed it after that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in your bio right now, so that's great. <laughs> yes, and I can prove it. And I also met um, uh, uh, Aldrin, um, what, what's his name? Um, We're not, uh, astronaut. Oh, uh, the astronaut. Oh, really? But anyway. <laughs> anyway, it'll, it'll come to you. All of a sudden, it'll come to you. So yeah. Yeah, I know that you... Um, you kind of had an epiphany. You talk about an epiphany that you had one day walking on the beach. Yes. Was that the beginning of it all? Yes, it was. It was really the beginning of it all, because um, what happened even before that was. Excuse me. Was it Buzz Aldrin? Yes, Buzz. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> Barbara. Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Aldrin, exactly. <laughs> That's why I love when people Buzz <laughs> and Michelle says Buzz for sure. Yes, Buzz. Exactly. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, Buzz came in my in my mind, but then I um, uh, disregarded it because I thought, oh, maybe this is the um, uh, the toy. You know, there is Buzz, whatever. There is yeah. another. That's cool. <laughs> so thank you thank you so i'm sorry um, we were talking about you and um you know how you i also want to talk about because you you were on stage with one of my favorites which is brenda bouchard yes. how did you end up on stage with brenda bouchard i mean my that friend. doesn't happen every day <laughs> brenda bouchard and roger love and mm -hmm. bo eason um, those three amazing, amazing uh, people mm -hmm. um, had um, created a uh, what they called um, world's greatest speakers. Okay. And um, and I took a course with um, Bo Eason. It was just a one day course within mm -hmm. that five day uh, event or so. Mm -hmm. And um, part of it was the VIP was that we got the opportunity to be on stage for three minutes to tell something that we never shared before. That's very personal. So we got challenged and I couldn't sleep that night. And, and they didn't tell us when that would be. That could be any day, mm -hmm. within the five days, at any time of the day. So right. you could not really prepare very much for it. <laughs> um, and and I never forget the, um, the night before uh, that when I was called, even though I didn't know it, I had this this terrible uh, dream that and, and it triggered a memory of um, what happened to me when I was uh, in boarding school, the uh, mother house of the Ursuline nun who pushed me down on the, on, onto the ground and oh told me that um, I would never have a decent life because I disobeyed her and I may as well be a whore. I was oh 11 years old. I didn't even know what that was. You're right. Because I jumped into um, one of these uh, bumper cars, you know, and there was a boy my age in it, and mm -hmm. I jumped in with him for a one minute ride, snuck mm -hmm. out of, yeah, I broke the rule again, you see. So, You're always breaking the rules, yes. <laughs> I love it. It's freedom. They don't yeah. call you freedom whisperer for nothing. <laughs> yeah. And that's maybe why I love this, you know, to be, be right on the beach here. I don't know. If, you can see it out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, right yeah. There. Yeah. Unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful green, blue. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. With yeah. us. Okay. So I know you've been, you also hung out with, with a lot of celebrities. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about some of those occasions? For example, I mean, I've seen pictures of you and President Carter and his wife. I mean, you know, what prompted yeah. that? That's yes. Well, you know, I mean, that um, 2019 was a very expensive year. I think I paid almost $50,000 to uh, to be in this group of Celebrity Launchpad, which gave you these opportunities. Mm -hmm. So this is not something you can just pick up the phone and say, I want to have a, you know, see you. But this is all arranged and it costs okay. to just like, you know, if you want to to appear on a big stage, you, you don't you don't go there for free. No, you, you know? don't. Um, uh, what what you and a lot of people say, well, you know, you paid for it, yes, but it's not only the experience, but also who sees you. You know, you are uh, the audience is usually right. free. You know, and it's an incredible um, 
experience that that also you have to break through your own limitations of thought you know of, of the can fear I, yeah fear yeah yeah you know and and i always like those challenges you know so and and we don't challenge ourselves enough and so what happened on the on the on the beach because my husband and my family said you know mom you are i think i was about almost 70 years so that's about 6 years ago um they said don't you think it's time to um to retire, retire? <laughs> yeah. and i had a stroke um in that year as okay. well should really retire and um i i walked the beach and i had the sleepless night and something in me said no what do i what do i do when i retire you know mm -hmm. it's crazy and but then i i just wanted to know um i said maybe i'm getting too old maybe i'm not healthy enough anymore you know all of this all of a sudden then there comes that um uh, that survival instinct you know it's not the higher thought and from your higher self but it comes from this survival yeah, maybe maybe i should just take it easy and relax and don't you know stretch myself anymore so i i took that walk early in the morning and i screamed out to god i mean i i was raw and I, and i and i said give me a sign if you want me to uh, to do the work and I only want to do the work with women. If you want me to do this, you have to give me an undeniable right. <laughs> sign. And, and it was just all of a sudden. I mean, it came almost instantly. There was just like this <sighs> calm came through me, almost like a, a light that calmed everything down. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then out of from somewhere inside of me, there were those two um, images. There were horses. I mean, I loved horses. I did mm -hmm. horseback riding, but in the Bahamas, I was more um, uh, looking for dolphins, but there were two horses. <laughs> <laughs> Quite different. <laughs> but one, one, was, one was a stallion, uh, it was a black stallion. It was like a powerful horse, it was almost like a war horse. Mm -hmm. and the other one was um, uh, like Pegasus, was a silver-winged, beautiful mare. And those horses just merged within me, and, um, and I just knew. I didn't hear a voice, but I just knew it was my soul. It was my inner hero. It was my soul self. The power that I needed to, um, uh, to uh, do the things and, and get the yeses when I want yeses and, mm -hmm. and the no when I must say the no and then the Pegasus was just like a gift of healing and and a higher perspective and um, knowing not only what is right for me but also uh, get the ability to uh, see in others what their uh, specific gift is right. and and so that, all of that happened there and I fell on my knees and I cried and cried and cried but um but that was for me, it was so undeniable that this was right. my not only permission, but my must. Right. To Your must in life. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. I just went, Elizabeth says, retire, question mark, question my why, why, question, follow your heart. You've done so beautifully doing that so far. Yeah. So, and what a beautiful vision you just, you just gave us, you know, such wonderful spirit guides, really. Yeah. We all have. And that's when I uh, really developed the inner hero, the yeah. um, because your soul self. You know, sometimes we don't have an idea. Yet we know we have a soul, and but what is that soul? We yes. know we need to become still and listen. Um, and there is when when you um, can create or not create, it just comes to you when you want and ask for an image of your soul self. Um, it it will come to you. It's it's your gift uh, because mm -hmm. it's so much easier than to uh, to bring that image and the feeling of the image right. into you and and you know it's um, it's the, your wisest um, confidant. Right, know? right. That's amazing. Um, you know, you have been given a lot of awards, um, Angelica. Tell us what is, I mean. 
the Globen, the the Golden, um, what is it called? They call the uh, the Golden Globe, the Quill, the Golden Quill, the quill for for being the best author. Oh my God! Look at you. Yeah. I mean, look, thirty five winning strategies from today's uh, learning entrepreneur, leading entrepreneur, yeah. Angelica yeah. Christie. Yes. There you are. I mean, really, was that was that your best award? I mean, how did you feel receiving that award? Well, I mean, this is just, I was in such uh, amazing um, uh, yeah, company because the authors in here, this is a book that I co-authored, right? With, you co-authored, okay. Um, so that was amazing. There was this big gala um, uh, red carpet uh, in um, Los Angeles. In LA, right? In, yes, and it was just amazing. But I'm actually more proud of these little books that I did. And, and this is... Um, your intelligence cell. I did this in 2011. It's small, but it has so much in it and it has an extended online environment. And then this book I just um, uh, wrote and published last year. So that's only How me. to revive your relationship or leave without regret. But didn't you write like six books, I think? Well, I, I, I have, yes. Um, you know, when you, just like this year, this is a bestseller and this is one of the books that I have become a best-selling um, author with. It's just like the football team, you know, right. they all become champions. Yeah. They're in a team, but they're all champions in their own right, you know. Right. So whenever you are part of, a, of an um, anthology book um, and it makes a um, bestseller, then you, you become a bestseller. <laughs> become a bestseller, yeah. right? Which is really nice, I think. Really yes. very, very nice. If I you think. have not uh, written your own book, that's mm -hmm. really the easiest way to kind of step into that, um, um, yeah, in, in, in the arena, so to speak, to, yeah. uh, to, to become an author. You know, I just want to go back because um, I asked you about that occasion where you were with President Carter, and I think we went off on a tangent. I just want to pull you back in to okay. that event. How did you end up with a president of the United States or an ex-president at the time? President, I don't know what year that was. Maybe he was president that year. No, I don't know. No, 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 no. He was already. This is this was in 2019. Okay. So, um, it's this is arranged. You know, you pay for it. Oh yeah. Okay. So it was an arranged kind of thing, and but but you were in. I the had, yes, it was a relatively large group, and we had to uh, hang out um, on the and uh, uh, in the parking lot um, <laughs> around. Four o'clock in the morning to be oh, able. To, I, mean, I love it. Highly, you know. I mean, you can, you can imagine there is high um, security everywhere, right. and um, you know to have the opportunity to actually go to him and and talk to him, okay. and take his hand and whatever. And and he, I could just see in his, his twinkle in his eyes, he really liked me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because you're an amazing woman. I mean, the aura around you is just, it's so pleasant to be around you all the time. So, yes, I can understand that. <laughs> and, and I have that photo where um, I'm actually going toward him and all you can see is his his um, face. And it's so cute, you know. Oh, how cute is that? Thank yeah. you for sharing that with us. I mean, there have been other celebrities also, and I, and I love the fact... Oh, I want to talk about something else that I remember. You, um, in COVID, of course, COVID changed your life like it changed everybody's life. Yeah. Um, and uh, we could talk about your natural path, uh, you being a nat naturopathic do doctor here also. But I love the, um, the an 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 analogy that you made that, uh, you know, it happened in 2020. And aren't we, don't we have 2020 vision? And so aren't we kind of called to be looking at this from that a different perspective with our, you know, with our vision? I mean, can you talk a little bit about that? I love, I love that whole analogy for sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm not 100% sure if I understood your question. I see it from what uh, perspective? Okay. If you were talking about COVID. Yes happening in 2020 to me yes well to, to, to all, all of us, I got all it. Of us. I, I got and it. the analogy that you used was that isn't it interesting 
that we have 20, we talk about 2020 vision. Oh, oh, oh. yes. And yeah. shouldn't we kind of look at this, you know, with a different thought or different yeah. outlook? Yes. You know? You see nothing, and you know this because uh, we are all students of um, Tony Robbins. You know right. that that the universe happens for you, <laughs> and um, not so to you. <laughs> whatever happens, you know, um, for you or to you happened for you. Mm -hmm. And so I I needed to really um, get into what did all of this mean not just globally, but what did it mean um, to me also in my health? And of course, the other thing was that this definitely, because up to that point, I, I was outside and I could find my, my clients uh, by personal experience, right. by personal appearance. And now that was gone. So all of a sudden I'm online. And I mean, I've always been on, or not always, 10 years before I was online, but not but only to learn, not to right. present. And, um, and so I, I said, oh, my God, I mean, I have spent a ton of money on everything, so I should know how to create my business online. Why can't I do it? And, and it's, it's because I was at a level where I, yes, I had all of this. I, pay, I paid so much money for all of that. That did not make me able to implement it right you know? and and when i i don't even god guided this again the universe happens for you and universe happened for me when i came across w uh, o w women w o w women actually yeah. you and i you and i met in a networking group and um i was talking about our launch, launch lab program and then that's how you came about to, um, you know, joining the W uh, W O W. Wow! I yeah. just like to say that. Wow! Club. Wow! Yes. And so you have been a member now of the Launch Lab Mastermind program for uh, quite a few uh, months. I mean, there you are talking about how do I, you know, launch my program online. Is, yes. It, would you say? So we, we know how we connected. So could you talk a little bit about your experience so far with working with the team? I mean, this is just amazing. And I must say that in the very beginning, I did not, I, I didn't, I did not give it the priority that mm -hmm. it deserved. That's why I'm taking it again. Um, I, I loved everybody. I found it amazing. But it's almost like, okay, let me see when we are done, if this is just, I give you everything right. and then disappear or what is, what's going to happen? And it, it was and still is such an incredible experience that, um, I mean, I really, you are doing such amazing work for such an affordable price because what I get from you, I paid thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for and did not get the personal attention. Right. You know? and, and when I just want to let my audience know that when uh, Angelica says you, she's talking about my team and I just not just me alone. So, so yeah. I work with a team of three wonderful coaches and we work together and, and thank you. And Elizabeth Lupacchino, who is here with us as she's a member of the wild club too. And she, it has been transformative. Thank you, Elizabeth, for that. Um, you know, it's been a wonderful experience working with Elizabeth and certainly now with you, Angelica, it's just, um, uh, you know, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Barbara. What a great yeah. team. So, yeah. um, I just want to, you know, just uh, it, while we're on the subject, would you recommend this program to anyone else? And, and why? And why would you? Absolutely. Well, because um, it's it's kind of easy. It is even though I, I know so much, but, you know, knowing it does not mean that you know how to implement, implement it. it. Right. And so it's a program that is for a newbie mm -hmm. as much as for somebody like like me and and probably yes. somebody even even further ahead right. than 
than where I am because it is it it's it's not going in in too many directions. It is very specific. If you want to launch your um, your business coaching program, you know, for me it's an um, it's a it's going to be a um, subscription membership um, mm -hmm. site. If you want to launch that, then you must do certain things. And if you want to launch that on with Facebook online in a specific way, then you follow the steps. And okay. um, that success path is um, is not only step by step and with incredible precision, but also with all of the help, with the Q and A's constantly, and 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 amongst the. Um, uh, the community, everybody helps each other. If there is a question, it's always answered in no time. You don't have to send an email anywhere. You know? it's, it's what we went through, and we avoided that. We yes. we knew we we've learned the hard way. We learned that 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 doesn't work. <laughs> and you know, and it shows. It shows because uh, all of the things that that were so frustrating. Right. Before, all of a sudden, no, they're not there anymore. It's 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 easy, but but you know, even it's easy to do, and whatever is easy to do is also easy not to do. Not to do exactly. So yeah. what you we'll still need to do is you need to to do the work. <laughs> you know, you, uh, yeah, nobody can do it for you. Of course, we could do it for you for costly. You know. Some, but but you know it's always so much more rewarding because we can't do the videos for you. You there's yeah. certain things we can't do for you, yes. and so you know, okay. uh, and you're going to spend the time anyway. So why not spend it the right yeah. way, yes. doing the right thing? Because we take clues from those who came before us. I mean, we're following this in the uh, footsteps of Tony and and Dean, yeah. and uh, you know. And they uh, go and, and improve. I, I, I watched um, Tony's um, I, I'm Not Your Guru, that yeah. mentory. Right. And my God, he says the F word almost in every sentence. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I mean, he has been learning, right? He has been evolving. <laughs> <laughs> if that's if you call that evolving, but but you're, you're right. I mean, you know, it's, it's still a little shocking to me today. But it, you know, it's like we, we are we are we are never standing still. We are, you know, evolving and evolving uh, all the time, right? And so and and that's what I like about uh, your your group and the um, how how you um, help us and how you teach it. It's uh, I would give it. You know, one hundred percent. I mean, seal of confidence and and total. I mean, you would be crazy not to take that course if you want to launch online. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, I want to get back to you a little bit. Um, your father once said to you when you were a child, "Live from the power within." I love that. Yeah, you didn't realize at the time you didn't understand as a child. Like yes. you but you're actually living that today, aren't you? Yes. My my father was, um, I mean, he took me on his knees and he could tell me everything about the universe, the supra, the supernovas, the, the black holes, the, wow. uh, the whole star system. And he just loved nature, but he was not religious. Uh -huh. he, didn't, he didn't go to church. He, he wasn't religious. And then I don't know how I ended up in a um, Catholic nunnery, you know, from school. But but their education was supposed superior to, to others. That that's yeah. that, that was that was the case. It still is today. I mean, I worked with the Jesuits in in oh, San Francisco for thirty five years. You know, so yeah, absolutely. A little bit renegades, right? <laughs> they are. They are. But I like that about them. Exactly. So, I love that about them too. I'm not the Oslo nuns. They were stuck. Stuck oh, up. They were, yeah, right. No, these were the Marymount nuns that yeah. that worked really well with um, yeah with, uh, the, the Jesuits. Um, no, so, I mean, my father, my father really opened me up to the and probably instilled that in me because he said, um, as 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 you, I never forget it when he took me in his arm and said, uh, Angelica, you know, um, I mean, kind of everything else is the dogma, religion, whatever. Um, that's not important. Um, what can never be threatened is the power 
you have within. Within you. Oh and God. again, that's the, um, later on, you know, um, you're in a hero. All of that has a, a little bit of a seed probably planted. I think so. I, I think so. Because you are, that's, that's who you are. Yeah. You live with the power from, from within you, the power within you. And Tony says a big time. I and mean, you do everything Tony said. Tony says proximity is power. Look what you did. I mean, I know you spent $50,000, but you got to that proximity that you needed. Yeah. So you have all the foundation. And and all you need now is the that little road path to take you, the, the, our program to take you to, you know, to launch your program. And yes. so it's so it, it's yep. amazing how life works, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and you know, it be, I became aware because I asked myself, okay, so I have created so many courses, um, relationship courses. Um, then the um, 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 Prosper on Purpose, there are mm -hmm. five steps. That course, I, I presented it from... Uh, from stage and and then the the seven C's of success. I have all of these courses, and I said to and then I did um, quite a bit of a personal coaching. You know, I had one um, one client. All she wanted to um, to be coached on is um, manners, etiquette, oh. and and um, and the arts. So. What do I need to know about music? What do I need to know about the arts? Because she came from a very small, you know, um, mm -hmm. a small uh, environment in Russia, married uh, a very wealthy man. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden she's in a society that she feels totally out of, not, yeah. not belonging, you know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so that's what she needed. And I was so amazed and I was so happy to... Uh, to do this for her, a whole year's program and one-on-one uh, -on -one and something like that I still would love to do. But, you know, regular one-on-one -on -one coaching, I don't have the time anymore. No. I want okay. to have more people get what I, what I can uh, share with them. And also so many uh, just only have one area, but I have actually three areas and I call it the Trinity of life because your spirituality is your foundation. Mm -hmm. Your health is the other, you know, if you have a triangle, uh, the one side and your relationships is the other and they're all interconnected. They are. So my success path that I want to, um, to give to the women who want to do this year long um, you know, membership with me is that whole success path from your spirituality to really understanding your body, mm -hmm. what it's telling you, um, you know, because your body is unique to you. Absolutely. And, and then your relationship, relationship with you and of course with others. So, you know. So this is the, this is the Trinity program that you are working on, the subscription yes. program that you're talking about in yes. the launch lab. Okay, yeah. so that's, uh, you know, and uh, Barb agrees with you that they are mostly, definitely all interconnected. Um, that's we, what life is, you know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So I want to ask you, what legacy do you want to leave, um, Angelica, to, you know, I know that you, you know, you have all these programs and, of course, you're working on this program that you're wanting to launch and and you've written these books. Um you know, what's the legacy that you want to leave? The legacy that I want to leave is actually, um, you know, almost um, what I live by, that you, first of all, you are a unique, you are a Picasso. You're, there is nobody who has ever been like you in the, in the past, nor will there be in the future. You are totally unique. Your power is within you. Um, there is no nobody that can take the power away from you unless you allow it. Um, I, I want I want my legacy. I want to be that um, that I empowered women to really know themselves, to to know their power, not um, you know to go out and and change the world by by whatever. That's not necessary. For yourself, what are you doing um, with the incredible gifts that um, God that has given to you? What are you doing with those gifts? 
not what somebody else wants you to do, but what are you doing with it to find that and to develop that. And, um, and I, I want to, um, to tell every woman that um, she is not only extremely capable, beautiful, powerful, but also a total energy, ball of energy of love that has no limit, no limit. And the more you can love yourself, that's what I call heroic self-love. Heroic self -love. Yeah. The more you can love yourself, the more energy you have to, um, to share that love with others as well. Wow. And well, I don't. Not, it's not easy to love yourself. It's much easier to love somebody else because absolutely. you can love somebody else for the loving parts. But when you love yourself, you have to love everything, the the, uh, the shadows as well. Right. Um, I don't know who our Facebook user is, but if you he or she would just click Streamyard up above and allow uh, Streamyard to use your name, then we could. We, we, I would know who that is. And the message here is love that you are, that person loves that you are a un, as unique as Picasso. No one can take the power away. Keeping that as a new sticky for my computer. Thank you. That's Thank you. Thing. See if you can change just one life because that's the ripple effect. It's like a pebble you just throw in a pond. Exactly. Out. Everybody yeah. will profit from whatever one person right. can um, take away. Thank you, Debbie. It's Debbie Lynn. It's Debbie Lynn. Yeah, so I, um, you know, I'm so, you know, it, it just, it, it, as you were talking, I was getting goosebumps. And so I am, I just want to tell you how unique you are and how wonderful it is to, they, I, I'm honored to be able to work with you. It's just an honor to to, to be working with you and, and to help you succeed in, in getting this program together because, because you have made a difference in, and impacted lots of people's lives, but there's so much more to come. Uh, Angelica, I'm so excited, not just for you, but for everybody that you, whose life you're going to be impacting. So um, I want to, you know, if, for anybody who wants to touch base with you, down below is the information that I have for you. Contact Baroness Angelica Christie by going to uh, the website, www Baroness Angelica. This is actually, that website is only to see uh, some of my media stuff. Okay, well, that's good too. And But there, there's your angelicachristie.com. Yeah, and email would be info at baronessa, no? Angelicachristie.com. Is that good? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better. The Baroness is just for that website. Okay. And, um, um, my, my website that I need to change, I haven't paid attention, it's an older website, but it's still a lot on there, is www.angelicachristie.com or angelica at angelicachristie.com. Angelica and at angelicachristie.com. That's nice and easy. Good. Yeah. And so if you want to read about all of the great events that we were talking about, you could go to www.baronessaangelica. Uh, point or co uh, period TV, you get all that information. It's it's so much fun to see these interviews. So um, we didn't, you know, my last mi minute. Uh, I just want to ask you about fear. You know how yes. because a lot of a lot of women go into fear. Oh, w w me have a life I desire. I mean, you know, how do I get over this fear? I mean, uh, can you can we ad kind of address that before yes. we we leave? <laughs> Yes, that fear is deep rooted and it's not easy to get mm -hmm. rid of that fear. You actually do not get rid of fear ever. You Even, use it. You use it, yes. Mm -hmm. You uh, when it when it comes up, you say, Hello, old friend, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this time I I do it anyway. Or right. you know, you 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 just um you create a relationship with your fear. See it as something that um, uh, has allowed you to stay alive, that has allowed your ancestors to uh, to stay alive. And that's why you are here, because right. that primal instinct of fear is um, was so important and still is important. 
um, but it gets in the way of our loftier, of that uh, prefrontal, uh, our higher self that wants to achieve things, not just stay alive. Right. You know, fear is really an instinct to um, to avoid things that um, that are new or strange or dangerous. You know, because. Mm -hmm. uh, in the in the moment that you are in right now, you are alive, and why why would you risk anything that could, you know, make that um, make that a, a question mark? So um, fear, you cannot get rid of fear, um, but embrace it. Let's say, oh, that's interesting. So I fear this. Why why am I so afraid of it? What really uh, dismantle it? T um, put almost like peel it like an onion and say. Why is this so? Ask why. So why is that? The seven um, layers go seven layers deep. Mm -hmm. It's better than with um, a coach or mentor. I do this with all of my clients because there are fears everywhere. I have mm -hmm. to even do it with myself whenever fear comes up. Right. And, and then you, you see it's the worst thing, the worst thing that can happen. Is that a projection? Is it real? You know, there are certain, why do I believe this? Who told me so? What was the authority by which I believe? So th there are a number of questions you right. can kind of go through to unravel that fear. And then and then it may just evaporate. So, so you have the great tools to help um, your clients. And that's why you're called the Freedom Whisperer. Oh my God, yeah, a long time ago I was called that. <laughs> Now, okay. <laughs> Where did that go? Search me. You really researched me. <laughs> so, so tell me, but it's a perfect, it's a perfect, um, I, I, I love it. The freedom whisper. That's who you're going to be for me from now on. So if you want to have uh, anyone help you get rid of fear, Dr. Angelica is your person. So yes. there is a, a, the information that, uh, in, in, <laughs> in the particulars. Uh, so that you can uh, contact her. And um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below the um, video that is going to be shown in the Wild Club and also on the YouTube. And so I want to thank you very much, Angelica, for joining us today. It's such a pleasure to be with you, to work with you, to, to speak with you. And um, the best, the best uh, success to you for sure. I know that you're going to impact so many people's lives. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so very much. And I want to say to the audience, you heard it from Dr. Angelica that the Launch Lab uh, Academy program is, uh, if you want to launch your business yes. and if you want to do it organically on Facebook, then we are the people for you. Yes, you are the number one. We are the number one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. And yes, great success to you. Thank you from uh, uh, from Elizabeth and Debbie. Okay, <laughs> somebody's helping somebody. Else. That's what we do as a team. We yes. help one another yes. out. Okay. So yes. thank you again, Angelica. And thank you to my audience for joining us here live. And we'll see you next week for another amazing interview. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.